Well, this is 2009, and it's the bicentenary of Charles Darwin. And all over the world, eminent evolutionists are anxious to celebrate this. And what they're planning to do is to enlighten us on almost every aspect of Darwin and his life and how he changed our thinking. I say almost every aspect because there's one aspect of this story which they have thrown no light on and they seem anxious to skirt around and step over it and talk about something else. So I'm going to talk about it. It's the question of why are we so different from the chimpanzees? We get the genetics keeping on telling us how extremely closely we are, hardly any genes of difference, very, very closely related. And yet, when you look at the phenotypes, there's a chimp, there's a man, it's astoundingly different, no resemblance at all. I'm not talking about airy-fairy stuff, about culture or psychology or behavior. I'm talking about ground-based, nitty-gritty, measurable physical differences. There, that one is hairy and walking on four legs. That one is a naked biped. Why? I mean, <laughs> then if I'm a good Darwinist, I've got to believe there's a reason for that. If we change so much, something must have happened. What happened? Now, 50 years ago, that was a laughably simple question. Everybody knew the answer. They knew what happened. The ancestors of the apes stayed in the trees. Our ancestors went out onto the plain. That explained everything. We had to get up on our legs to peer over the tall grass or to chase after animals or to free our hands for weapons. And we had got so overheated in the chase that we had to take off that fur coat and throw it away. <laughs> Everybody knew that for generations, but then in the 90s, something began to unravel. The paleontologists themselves looked a bit more closely at the accompanying microfauna that lived in the same time and place as the hominids, and they weren't savannah species and they looked at the herbivores, and they weren't savanna herbivores. And then they were so clever, they found a way to analyze fossilized pollen. Shock horror. The fossilized pollen was not of savanna vegetation. Some of it even came from lianas, those things that dangle in the middle of the jungle. 